I'm just magic, mate. I'm magic. Magic. Where are you going? You're going. Come on, baby! Woo! Ah! I tell you, this car's got me through so much. It's got me through. I crashed my car into my neighbor's house. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now, I've been up since 3.50 this morning. It is now 5.20. I've been on an interview speaking, sharing my message, spreading the love, spreading the positivity, helping people, impacting lives. Hopefully, that's, that's my goal. That's all I aim to do. But sometimes in life, you just got to stretch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Living a great day. Life is about taking risks, taking opportunities, and just living your best life. If you want to live the life of the 1%, be willing to do what the 1% aren't willing to do. No, what the willing 1% are willing to do, and the 99% aren't. So sometimes you've got to wake up early, you've got to go to bed early. Sometimes you've got to go to bed late and wake up late. It depends what it is. Or you may be even to bed late and wake up early if you've got the, the, the tenacity to do so. Part of the day, you've got, to, you've got to be willing to do something in order to have a great day. If you want to have a great day, you want to have a great life. You need to do things that make you have a great life. We're going to get a car journey home if it stays in, in my little vlogging camera space thing. This video I'm going to be talking about the power of self-awareness when you understand yourself, how powerful it is and what you can achieve when you understand yourself. Because when you truly understand yourself, you no longer need approval from others. You know where you want to go. You don't need, oh my God. You don't need to, uh, I've got to concentrate, it's a very tight road. <laughs> you don't need to take opinions of others. You don't need to listen to what they have to say. Obviously listening and uh, taking this is really loud, isn't it? There we go, that road's very loud, and I know it is. Oh, it does, oh, 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 oh. There we go, sun's in my eyes now. Yeah, so taking the opinions of others, really, you don't need to when you are self-aware because you will do what makes you happy rather than just saying yes for the sake of saying yes, just doing something for the sake of doing it, you will do it because you like to do it or you won't do it because you don't like to do it. And self-awareness doesn't mean that you have to know what you want to do in life or it's just understanding who you are and understanding that sometimes saying no is better for your mental health sometimes saying no to people is the best thing you can do sometimes there are people which need to respect that and if they don't respect that when you're self-aware you start to come to terms with the the energy that you're around the people that you're around and the energy you're taking in and if their energy isn't too good you won't stay around that energy you'll find a way to get away from that energy not because they're horrible people because they may be just dragging you down without them even realizing and especially when you've got a when you haven't got a so strong mindset being dragged down is very easy there was a hat on the road there's a Wellington boot in the road and a great quote I've said that I said this in another video from Wayne Dyer when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change and that's not just a play on words it's not just like because obviously when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change it sounds good and I love the way it sounds but it's very logical because his is the analogy he uses is if you dropped your keys inside the house but every light in the house went off and there was no way of turning them back on you're searching for your keys inside and then you realize that there's light outside and there's a street light and you go and search for your keys outside so this is what a lot of people do they search for their keys outside even though they drop them inside because there's light outside because it seems easier to do so and this is the analogy is comparing against sometimes we tend to look outside at external sources like friends like holidays like money cars uh, watches handbags shoes whatever it is in order to be useful to help. To help. Um, Jesus that made me jump <laughs> bloody traffic news ah. we look at material and external sources to bring us the joy we want when it's already inside you anyway and this is a way you can look at it which really helped me understand it was if I can look inside then I don't I don't need anything external 
I don't need that money to make me happy. I'm happy. Will I, am I still going for, I'm still going for the money. I'm still going for the success. I'm still going for the impact that I want to have on people. But I don't need it to be happy because I'm already happy now. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> I need the music to sing so my singing's not brilliant. It's very hot in my car now. Uh. Oh yeah, that's got it, that's got it. That hold. oh my god. That holder's got it. There's no way that's falling out. I don't know how, I'm, I'm just magic, mate. I'm magic. Magic. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on, baby! Woo! It's a trusty old boy. Ah! I tell you, this guy's got me through so much. It's got me through, I crashed it into a, actually, I'll, I'll give you a few story times of this this puppy so I crashed my car into my neighbor's house and it was the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life so it's I'll give the backstory it was snowing it was snowing on a, on a cold winter's day I can't remember the date of the year it was but it was snowing and I was at work and this is when I worked about 40 minutes away from where I used to live so it was snowing, I could see it was snowing, I could see it was getting worse and the snow was actually starting to pile up on the roads even though there was cars driving on the roads and I spoke to my mum and my sister and they said you might want to drive home because I had to drive on the motorway and it was just starting to get worse and where I lived it was getting even worse. So I thought right I'm going to do it, I'm going to drive very carefully, get myself, I first had to, had to get the bus back to where my car was, then I drove back all the way home, not a skid at all, came up to the house five meters away from the house I used to live in a loads of terrace houses so there's loads in a row and because there was no cars going into the driveway it was like a massive shared driveway there was no there was just ice everywhere so I've pulled in and I kid you not I was not even going five miles an hour and a lot of people were like no you're probably going too fast and I genuinely wasn't next thing you know lose control of the steering wheel trying to brake can't brake try and pull up the handbrake again just skidding smash straight into their house and I smashed my front light I, sm I dented the side of the car it was very funny and then I, I reversed out like the tree knocked over there, drain pipe fell off I reversed out, drove to my house and looked at my mum in the window and she, I, I looked at her and I was like come out here, she's like no it's cold and I'm like no come out here, it's important I was like I've just crashed, she's like no it's cold and I was like come here, she came in she came out, this Australian guy walks over and just goes you're right, mate looks like you've crashed <laughs> and I was like yeah 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 it looks like that doesn't it <laughs> honestly it was the funniest thing and my perspective always is it could be worse it could have been a worse crash it was only a couple of hundred pounds to change the light and so oh my god I'm getting hot oh my car is very hot or is it just me this is real yeah so I'm gonna end this video right here, right now for you guys, everyone. I, I love you all, I love you so much. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you can keep smiling, keep spreading love, keep spreading positivity. I hope this video has given you some value. Have an amazing day.